You're making me dizzy. Hoover Dam Bridge Walkway. There we go. That's right. Today we are headed to the Hoover Dam. Uh, I drove to Vegas, realized I liked Lake Mead a lot more. A little crowded for daddy. Um, well, I was trying to work a GoPro and our handy cams that we film everything with and drive down a strip filled with thousands and thousands of people in a strange place that was extremely bright. I think under different circumstances, I think I might have enjoyed the experience a lot more. Mm -hmm. But for a redneck's first time in the big city, all I could do is go. <laughs> and so I'll probably go back at some point. But today we are headed to Hoover Dam. We drove out this way yesterday. And yesterday was the remembrance of Veterans Day on a Monday, but it was a national holiday. So everybody decided to go to Hoover Dam because the road that we're driving on right now, I'm going 28 miles an hour. And yesterday everybody was going zero. Nobody was moving. We just now came up to our first batch of traffic, but to get to here, where we're at yesterday probably would have taken us at least an hour. Oh, okay. Well, there's more traffic than I thought. This I think road curves around it and it's said full. there was a security checkpoint, so I'm yeah. guessing that's what it is. I wonder what that means. It means that they don't want people with bombs going over a great big dam that holds well, back that billions makes of sense. gallons of we water. We appreciate that. Don't worry. We're safe. Yeah. And we don't have any bombs. We drove out here yesterday and we thought, well, we'll just drive over the bridge that we saw on the internet that takes us like in front, like the scenic skyway bridge or whatever, you can't see the dam from the bridge because they got the, the walls are really high. And I think the reason they have the walls really high on the bridge is because this is a high winds area. You got to think that the wind is like funneling through this giant canyon where they built the dam. And so then when you drive over this bridge, they're afraid that it's going to blow you off the bridge. So guess where we get to go tomorrow with the RV when we start heading home? Um, but for now, we're going to wade into some traffic, and here in a minute, we're going to show you Hoover Dam. Hopefully. You damn right. doing we're just following the road man that bridge we drove over that yesterday we couldn't see anything oh here it comes there it is i think we're actually literally going to drive across it <laughs> awesome oh we're actually going to drive over the bridge yes okay well this is what hoover dam looks like from the top She wants you to pay her. Oh, oh. Hi. He didn't see you. <laughs> it was a test and you passed. I'm gonna let your supervisor know how good well, a job thank you did. You. Have Thanks. a great day, guys. Thank you. I'm just all about trying to break the rules today. Security. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Security. A uh, seven foot clearance. It's a good thing we're only six. And it's a good thing that the GoPro. <laughs> oh.
It creates energy here. And mom was asking, why does it create energy? Well, since there's a lot of kinetic energy in the water from it hitting the dam all the time, it, people are able to convert that kinetic energy into mechanical energy that we use for electricity and other things. Cool. What does kinetic energy mean? It means that it's moving around a lot. Okay. Let's go check out the overlook. Yeah. Thank you for coming and seeing one of the 10 most honored construction achievements of the 20th century. Feel free to stay and take all the pictures you wish. The next presentation is located across the street at the flagpole. So this, since my hand is moving, it is making kinetic energy. And if it stops, it makes potential energy because it has the potential to move. The potential, kinetic. Potential, <laughs> kinetic. Days like today are part of what we love about road schooling, Miss Ad. So we could learn all kinds of things about energy in the books, but she loves coming out and actually seeing things work. Did you know that Lake Mead runs an average depth of 225 feet and can get as deep as 500 feet? Damn. Did you know that Herbert Hoover only made one visit to the place that was named after him? Damn. Did you know that Hoover Dam was once known as Boulder Dam? Damn. Did you know that the head landscaper for Boulder City where the Hoover Dam workers lived, his name was W. W. Weed? Damn. Did you know that there were over 5,000 workers on payroll to create this thing? Damn. Did you know that without the Hoover Dam, cities like Las Vegas and Los Angeles probably wouldn't even exist? Damn. Did you know that there is enough concrete in this thing to build a two-lane highway from San Francisco to New York City? Damn. So the Hoover Dam was a project that took many, 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 many years to plan, but in the overall scheme of things, it only took about five to six years to complete. Now, one thing that we learned, kids, in our history lesson, while we were in Utah, we learned about John Wesley Powell that explored the Colorado River, and I know we talked about him, especially when we were at Island in the Sky. Well, John Wesley Powell, he traveled what was the Colorado River at the time, it's also Lake Mead now, but uh, he tracked down the Colorado River and he came back with a report that said that the Colorado River was unprofitable without dams and canals. Now that was back in the late 1800s. Fast forward to the early 1900s, they built a committee. I believe it was called the Bureau of Reclamation. They set forth to build a dam. A few years later, they explore the Colorado River and find all these different canyons. And they come down to two different canyons, Black Canyon and Boulder Canyon. Even though they called it the Boulder Canyon Project and they were gonna make the Boulder Dam, they end up later on finding out that it was Black Canyon, which is where we're standing now on top of Hoover Dam, is where the dam should take place. But since they named it, they didn't wanna rename it, so they named it Boulder Dam. And that's where you get Boulder City, where we're gonna go have dinner here in a little bit. Boulder City was one of the early shanty towns that housed the over 5,000 people or most of the 5,000 workers that worked here on the dam with all the various projects. And now it's a historic city. It's a cool city. Had a gig there thanks to the guys who own the tap and the Dillinger. But that city, like Las Vegas as well, and Los Angeles and all the towns and cities around here in the Southwest region of the United States would not even exist had it not been for John Wesley Powell and Herbert Hoover and Elwood Mead and a whole bunch of people that lost their lives just to build this. They did it for their families, but in turn, they did it for generations to come and for us to come film a YouTube video on top of it. So thank you guys. Did you know that there was a dude named Dr. Elwood Mead who lived his whole life studying water conservation, not just in the United States, but in Canada and Australia and Africa, all over the world. And his last greatest achievement was the water conservation of the Colorado River, where they made the Hoover Dam, which formed 
Lake Mead. That's right, it was named after Dr. Elwood Mead, the more you know, star, rainbow. Did you know? Damn! Is that joke getting old yet? <laughs> yes. Did you know that you have to put your hat on really, really tight when yeah. you're walking over the Hoover Dam so it, it don't fly off? It gets a little windy. He but it's too. awesome. I do too. That's why I always have my hat down tight. But man, oh man, it's crowded up here. There's people everywhere. Glad we didn't come yesterday because I was like super packed yesterday being the holiday. But I'm, I am beyond excited, thrilled, awesome, and thankful that we got a chance to do this today. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I am so glad that we got to show you guys Lake Mead, Boulder City, a little bit of Las Vegas, what little it we saw. Was, it's amazing yeah. though. I mean, yeah. I am again i am super stoked that this is the way that we ended the trip before we go home for thanksgiving that we came out here and got to see this beautiful side of the country to see this marvel this 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 marvel of engineering and it was awesome yeah we're happy we hope you're happy um we are happy and we're hungry and we're gonna go get something to eat in boulder city we already talked about what boulder city is but uh, we're gonna go there now because where it used to be just a shanty town, now they got a cool pizza place. We're gonna try it out. But if you like what you're seeing here on the channel, give us one of these. Also, if you have not become a member of the Crock Posse, what is the Crock Posse, my love? The Crock Posse is our recipe loving, traveling family around here. Oh, we shortened your resume. I see. Uh, I tried to make it more precise. If you like to be a part of such a fun thing. All you gotta do is click that subscribe button down below. If you wanna know what we're doing as soon as we do it, you need to click the... Ding. That's right, click the ding-a-ling <laughs> and we'll let you know as soon as we put up a new video. And also, y'all, whatever you do, laugh often. Eat good food and speak away. Bye, y'all. If you wanna see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right